and welcome to another in the video series how to this one is how to change themes and update your blog this will actually be a, an assignment in my class first off you go to edublogs.org as the URL states type in your username and password and this will take you to the home screen I'm running a little bit slow here, but you get the welcome screen. And you want to go to your dashboard. Please bear with me while my computer gets to the right screen. Now the dashboard will be over here on the left and you want to scroll down to appearance. What you're going to have to do is change the appearance of your blog from the default to one of the themes they give you. They give you a whole ton of themes. Um, I've chosen this one class 72 class. So you go off screen and scroll you have all different kinds of themes to choose from. Uh, this one, Borderline Chaos, is one my daughter uses. Some other students use that, but any of these themes are acceptable. What you're going to do is personalize your blog. You're going to change your theme. You are going to, after you pick a theme, you just click on whichever one you like. I'm going to keep the class 72 gives you a preview. And you can scroll down through. Those are all the posts I have. It shows you what your blog will look like. I'm going with the background color as a default. Um, everything else pretty much stays the same. You either have a static page or your latest posts. I keep my latest posts at the front. And you can hit save or close the preview. I'm going to close the preview. Now, once you do that, you have all your different themes. You can activate it, see the preview, get details from whichever one you choose. So once you pick, you go back and activate that theme and that will be what your blog looks like to people who come to your site. Now, you're also going to pick widgets. And all widgets are are little tools on your home screen that let you do different things. I have a cluster map um, which when people check out my blog from around the world it, this shows up on a interactive globe as a dot shows you where people are logging in and checking out my um, checking out my blog from. You can embed a code to have your blog show up on the edge of blogs directory which I would recommend. It's good to do. Um, What it does is, let me click out of this. It's not letting me click out of this. Um, close. What that does is puts it, uh, publishes your blog to their directory so people could find it. You can add pages to your blog. Uh, you will add a page and give a little bio about yourself. That will be part of the assignment. And then any links you want to link to put any of this information here on the side and to add a widget all you do is grab the widget and drag it over to the toolbar I have a sidebar on the right you can grab if you wanted to a Google search drop it in and it's as simple as that when you're done you hit save for the widget and you've updated your page. 
Um, you will be adding widgets to your blog. As an aside, I want you to personalize these blogs. Um, they're yours to work with even after you leave my class. They're yours to use for school. Um, it's a great way to set up a digital portfolio, get a good digital footprint going so whenever you sign up for or start applying to colleges, you can just in your letter to them, in your essay for them, put a link into your blog and you know let them see what you've been doing over the course of your high school career because all of your writing will be done most of your writing will be done to your blog um, this pretty much wraps up how to personalize through the widgets and changing the theme of your blog I hope you found this helpful if you have any questions feel free to email me at my email dsalvucci at nbsd.k12.pa.us thank you for watching